In this lecture, we are going to create a layout of the recipes card and presenting the recipes content in the content view. Select the model folder in the project navigator. Then create a new Swift file. Give it the name recipe model. Next, import the Swift UI framework and create a new comment for the recipe model. After that, let's create our actual data model. Struct recipe identifiable var id uuid var title string var headline string var image string var rating integer var serves integer var preparation integer var cooking integer var instructions array of string var ingredients array of strings Great job, our model is done. Therefore, we can prepare the data for the avocado recipes. Select the data folder in the project navigator, then create a new Swift file and name it to recipe data and save it into the folder. Next, import the Swift UI framework and enter a new comment for the static data. Now let's create an array of data which is a recipe struct type. Let recipes data recipe. Navigate to the resources folder on the desktop in a new finder window. Then open the data folder and inside it the recipe data plain text file. Select all of the content in the text file, then copy and paste it to the clipboard. After that, close both the text file and the finder window. Go back to the recipe data file and paste the content inside the empty array. As you can see, the content of the avocado recipes is quite long. There is no reason for typing it manually. Next, select the view folder in the project navigator, then create a new Swift UI file and name it to recipe card view and save it. Enter a new comment for the card's property. Mark properties, then create a new variable for the card's data. Var recipe recipe as you already know, we need to add the data in the preview to make our build work properly. Recipe card view. Recipe. Recipes data. Zero. Finally, resize the preview window. Preview layout. Size that fits. Alright, our prep work is done. It's time to create the actual layout for the recipe card. Select the text and by command plus click on it embed it into a new vertical stack. Then replace the text view with a new image view. Image, recipe, image. Make the card image resizable and scaled to fit. This scaled to fit modifier has the same result as the aspect ratio content mode fit, which we used earlier many times. After that, add the following modifiers to the V stack background, color white, corner radius 12, shadow, color, color. Color black transparent light, radius 8, x 0, y 0. This will make our card container a pretty rounded view with a nice background shadow. Great, we are going to add a nice bookmark icon on the top of the card image by using the overlay modifier. Enter. Overlay. 
image, system name, bookmark, font, font, title, weight, light, foreground color, color white, image scale, small, shadow, color, 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 black transparent light, radius 2, x 0, y 0. As you can see, this bookmark icon is positioned in the center of the image, but we want it to be positioned on the top right corner of it. So, how can we achieve this without knowing the exact size of the image, which is flexible by the way? We can use stacks and spacers to manage this challenge. Embed the image into a new horizontal stack and enter a spacer above the image view. This spacer will expand the whole horizontal space inside the edge stack and push our bookmark icon to the right edge of the card. OK, at this time embed the image into a new vertical stack and enter a spacer under the image view. This spacer will expand the whole vertical space inside the V-stack and push our bookmark icon to the top edge of the card. All we need is to add some padding to our bookmark icon. Enter Padding Trailing 20 Padding Top 22 Finally, we can create a new comment for the card image. Next, we are going to design the rest of the avocado recipe card view. First and foremost, let's create a new V-stack with some padding modifiers. Then, inside the V-stack, enter new comment lines for each content section. V-stack Alignment Leading Spacing 12 Title Headline Rates Cooking Padding Padding Bottom 12 We start with the card's title Text Recipe Title Font System Title Design Serif Font Weight Bold Foreground Color 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 Green Medium Line Limit 1 Then we continue with the card's headline which is a text view to Text Recipe Headline Font System Body Design Serif Foreground color Color gray Italic Alright, the title and the headline look gray together, but they are centered in the card which is not exactly what we want. So go to the first vertical stack and add it to the following modifiers. V-stack Alignment Leading Spacing 0 It's definitely better now. Next we are going to create a new layout for the recipe's star ratings. Enter Image System Name Star Fill Font Body Foreground color, color, yellow. Nice, we have just created a yellow star. Now we need to embed it into a new horizontal stack and repeat the stars as many times as the actual avocado recipe has got rated in the data accordingly. Enter, alignment, center, spacing, five. For each 
one recipe rating id self underscore in our for each loop is working like a charm all right our last task is to create a well-formed cooking information section for the avocado recipe in the card the content contains the following serves preparation and cooking time let's jump into the code and create a new horizontal stack h stack alignment center spacing 12 font footnote foreground color color gray after this we are going to design the first part of the section H stack alignment center spacing 2 image system name person 2 text serves recipe serves when we have done with it, copy and paste this part two times. All we need is to replace the content in the second and the third sections. Image, clock, text, prep, icon, preparation, then image, flame, text, cooking, icon, cooking as we finish the layout design therefore our very last task is to insert all of the recipe cards into the content view open the content view file and create a new variable for the recipe cards var recipes recipe recipes data call the recipes data in the preview as well then create a new title with a comment for this section. Mark recipe cards. Text avocado recipes. Font weight bold. Modifier title modifier. Next, let's insert all of the recipe cards into a new vertical container using the for each loop. V stack, alignment, center, spacing, 20, frame, max width, 640, padding, horizontal, for each, recipes item in recipe card view recipe item we maximize the width of the recipe card by 640 points because of the wide ipads screen definitely centering them look much better rather than make the cards stretch out edge to edge just try it out as usual, we can run the live preview in the canvas for a quick test, but at the end of this lecture, we are going to build and run our avocado recipes app in the simulator as well. After launching the app, scroll down to the recipes cards. You should find all of the recipes inside in the content view, which means our code works without any problems. In the next lecture, we will create a detailed view of the recipes and learn how to present them in a sheet with Swift UI.